Greetings. Here we go again. Mike, the administers, and a ramble. Hey, today's the eight. Eight, 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 eight. Eight represents infinity. Hmm, so does the H. Hmm, don't hate on me, but the eight and the H both represent infinity. So, let's talk about infinity. Time and space and space and time. Are you in the fold? Or are curtains for you? <laughs> How many dimensions are there? There's an infinite number of dimensions. Yeah, infinite. Don't go flat. Gonna step into some bad lighting. Did my hair go flat? Are you clueless? T means light and so does the cross. <laughs> There's a double cross out there. If you look, you'll find it. It's pretty simple. Breaker, breaker, one, nine. Hmm. What do it mean? What do it mean? See, I was on my ladder. I was on my ladder. Jacob had one. He climbed it. He climbed it. I think the moon's still up there. Can you see it? Over Shanana. Where ya? Bowser howled at it. Sinatra. Sin is the moon. Sinatra. Well, that's a moon mantra. Can we get that out? Let's just get that right out. Yeah. And here's Shiva, my old saw blade. Shiva. I saw it. You saw it? <laughs> Jupiter's the tin man. Kind of sounded tinny, didn't it? You got a tin ear? <laughs> a coccolicella? Uh, there's a thing called a crystal set, and it will bring radio signals right out of the airwaves without a speaker. I mean, it's just, I don't know how it works. You know, it's a weird thing, or it is a speaker. I mean, eh. But uh, the optimic thalamus works in the very same way. It can bring signals right out of the airwaves and put them in your head. Um, that's how, that's what the pineal gland's all about. But you've got to stimulate it You've got to stimulate it. You gotta stand those, that crystalline structure to attention. So we communicate with the creator to theta, in the theta mental state. If you're carried to Delta, that's bliss. And you meet the Delta lady. On the gamma is the fantastic voyage. And third eyesight doesn't mean a transformed mind. Far from it. Far from it. They can use it to deceive you. Anyway, you gotta take a step further into the purple rain. And let me tell you, the world's in distress. They've got the rainbow flag upside down in most cases, instances. Purple should be on top. Red connected to the earth, Gaia. And they just got it all backwards. Hey, I'm a Capricorn and an earth sign. Ruled only by Saturn, one ring to rule them all. The golden age, the, uh, is Aquarius moving into Capricorn seamlessly without this chaos that we're experiencing from Pisces to Aquarius. And the guy in the center of the Aztec calendar is Pata. And Pata is the water bearer, bearer, basically. He's Aquarius. A fish coming out of his mouth. <laughs> He's the first spoke. The first to spit it out. We even say Patui when we spit. 
So, <laughs> there's a little dog drool for you. Dog is God and togs, and cat, CLF tog. You know, Sekmet Bastet. Anyway, there's a little connection to Egypt, formerly Kemet. Yeah, I referenced the Nagas. So it's a Hindu thing. And the Vedas and the Vatican. Veda, Vada, same word. But the Vatican sure created a can of worms. It created cognitive dissonance in everyone they touch. The rabbi will give you rabies. That's why you gotta go to the Hebrew, learn to turn water to wine. Simple thing. It's easy to do, but it takes a little time to pump up the jams. Hey, we'll be back with more.